Welcome back, guys. In this next part for Dreamweaver, we're going to look at images. What's a website without images? Probably pretty boring, right? So we're going to go ahead and open Dreamweaver. Just like before, we're just going to create a new document. New HTML document. Let's go ahead and set up our page properties. So we're going to give it some color. We're going to do maybe Appel yellow this time. We're going to make our background, I don't know, a deep blue. Links will be a little bit lighter blue. Visited links will be a little bit lighter than that. And active links are going to be good and bright. We're going to go ahead and give some margins. So we're going to do 50. We're going to do 50. And I think that's good. Go ahead and hit apply. Go ahead and make our title page awesome image page because that's what this is going to be. All right, there we go. Let's give this a heading before we get into our awesome images. And we're going to format this as a heading one. So the first thing we need is we need an image. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Pixabay because I don't happen to have an image that I want to use right now, but I know what I want. I want a kitten. You can just go to Google if you want, and you can just take images if you want, but that's not okay. Just because you can do it doesn't make it okay. A lot of websites like Pixabay allow you to use images that they have free at no cost. Now, when you're searching, a lot of them do have sponsored images up here. These ones cost money, and that's how these make money. You say, oh, I really like this photo. I want that photo. I want that photo so much, I will pay for it. That's how they get money. But you know what? I actually don't want that photo. I want this photo because look at how mighty he is. I've got some choices here size-wise. Some of these are pretty big. 1280 by 853, that's pretty big for a web page. So I'm actually going to go with small. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to download. Now, you don't have to use Pixabay. There are tons of different ones that you can use, but this is one that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And I'm just going to drag it to my desktop. So now we've got our awesome cats. I'm going to go ahead and rename this to something that's a little bit more logical for me. So we're going to call it Mighty Roar. Now, this photo is a little bit bigger than I want, so I'm going to bring it into Photoshop, and I'm going to edit it. Now, the thing to make sure is to make sure that we actually can. So this photo is a CC0 public domain photo, free for commercial use, no attribution required. That's what it's saying right here. That means I don't have to give credit to anybody to use this. I can make money off this photo if I want to. And I can change this photo because this photo is public domain. I can do whatever I want with it, which is amazing. Some of them aren't that way. Some of them say that you have to attribute the author. Some of them say that you can use it, but you can't edit it. This one, I can do whatever I want. So I'm going to do a couple things here. First, I'm going to crop it. So just use my crop tool. And I want this to be a narrow photo. So I think about there. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now, I could do a couple things here. I could just save, but I could also do save for web. And this is kind of important because the internet is about transferring data. And the bigger something is, the longer it will take. So right now, this is 55 Point thirty four k. If we go back to here, the full size that I had was smaller than the new one because of the way that I'm saving it. So if I'm careful with this, I can actually make this smaller. I can decrease the quality to where it still looks good, but that the file is very small and easy to transfer. That's especially important if you're building a website that you want people on their cell phone or on their iPad or something to be able to access because that's wireless and that might be going through satellite. So you want it to load at a fairly decent speed. So we're going to go ahead and save over our old one. Not only am I going to do that, I'm also going to add a black and white 
layer on top. And I'm going to tell this to go ahead and do auto. Just because I don't want to mess with it right now. And I want a variety of, of values, a good range of values. So we're going to do save for web once again. 48 looks good, looks fine. Yeah, let's go with that. And we're going to call this BNW or just BW. We're also going to do one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and make a new file real fast. I'm going to make this, I don't know, um, 450 wide by, I think 250 is pretty good height. So that was pretty close to what I wanted. And not quite what I want. Let's try this again. We're going to go into image size. Let's try 500. Going to go ahead and break the proportions. And we're going to put this by 200. That's a little bit more what I was expecting. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to hide the background. And on this, I'm going to make sort of a splash image. We don't do this anymore. This is bad practice. But everybody did it in the late 90s. Everybody did it when they were first making websites because it was the cool thing to do. So I'm going to call this welcome and enter. Go ahead and enter this. Maybe not enter. That's kind of short in comparison to welcome, so maybe proceed. A little bit lengthy, not very natural sounding, but it's more balanced size-wise. I'm going to find a font that I like. Yeah, that's interesting. That's um, all sorts of tacky. We're going to go with that. Who doesn't like tacky? little too big. little too big. I'm going to go ahead and do Command-T to transform this down to a more appropriate size. Let's go ahead and stretch it to we'll just do all the bad practice things together. A bunch of things you should not do. All right. So, it's still a little out of proportion. We've got a lot of extra dead space. I'm going to go ahead and crop that down so that way it's not extra file size that they are downloading. That'll work. Save for web once again. And I can do two things. I can leave this as a JPEG, but notice the background is white now. JPEG does not support transparency. I have two options. I can use a GIF file, which you can see here has a range of colors. And you can see the file size here. Or I can use a PNG. I can use a PNG 8, or I can use a PNG 24. PNG 8 works a lot like the GIF file. You can see once again the range of colors. The issue here is some of these are going to show up against my background and you're going to have all this little white fringe around it. So I'm actually going to leave it that way so you can see. Welcome one. And we're going to do a welcome two. And we're going to get rid of some of these extra colors that might be noticeable. I think that far is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and tell this to be invisible. And we're going to go ahead and save it again. So, welcome to. Alright. So, I've got my images taken care of. Don't save. I don't need this anymore. We've got our page. We're going to go ahead and put in some, just some text, some placeholder text. put in some text related to our marvelous images. I actually really do like that cat. It's a pretty cool cat. We're going to go ahead and make this heading 2. We're going to go here into our insert panel. If you don't have the insert panel, go up here to Window. Tell it to go ahead and appear. Now, you've got a variety of things that you can have here. I want you to just use Common for now. And what we're looking for is we're looking for this little picture here. This little arrow means there are more things in here. So if you click that arrow, you want to make sure that you are in just regular image right now. And we're going to go ahead and click on our cat. Oh, so it's having a little bit of trouble here because we haven't actually saved this anywhere. So it doesn't know where to find this. It's going to go ahead and give it some weird thing. So let's go ahead and save this. And we're going to call this mightyroar.html. I'll make the index page in a moment. I didn't forget. 
So we're going to go ahead and add this in here. And we've got our Mighty Roar. And that's fine. I don't need anything like that. Now, I didn't really want this way down there. I actually wanted this to be flush with it. So like this is right next to it. What I need to do then is I need to tell this to align right. If we right click on it, we can tell it to align right. And that's closer to what I want. It's still not perfect, but closer. So I actually want this to be a little bit higher up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, Command X, and I'm going to actually put it in front of Awesome instead of behind Awesome. There we go, that's a little bit closer. So it's now starting here. Sure, it's way over here, but the code for it is here, which you can see that right here. Here is that image tag between Awesome and the body tag, and actually between Awesome and the heading tag, which is not great. It should actually be outside of the heading tag, but sometimes Dreamweaver will do stuff like that when you're moving things around. And you know what? I'm actually going to put a couple line breaks in there, so there we go. So that's Mighty Roar. Amazing. Fantastic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file. This one will be our index.html. So we're going to save this as index index.html. I want the same code for the body, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that, because I don't want to have to figure out what it was again, and it's going to take me just extra time. Looks good. And here, we are going to insert an image such as welcome. Now this is welcome one. And you probably can't tell, but there's actually a little bit of white fringe around the edges. Let me modify the page properties so you can actually see it. There you go. You can definitely see it now. So on the other one, you couldn't really see it because of the color difference. But if I change it to black, you can definitely see it. So that was why I had switched that. So let's actually go ahead and delete that. And let's use Welcome To instead. If I go to the page properties and change the background color to black, there's still a little bit of white fringe on the edges. Or it's actually not even white. It's like light blue, but it's less bad. So we'll go ahead and Command Z just to go back to what it was. Just like text, images can also be links. So if we click on it, we can tell it to be a link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and I'm going to tell it to go to Mighty Roar. Now, this is a link. And it will take us to the other page. So I just saved it. I just did Command S. If I minimize this, we've got our two pages here. And we can see if we click on this, it indeed takes us to Mighty Roar. And look at that awesome cat. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, you can very quickly and easily let me know by just clicking the thumbs up or the like button. If you need any help, let me know and I will see what I can do.